I'm so sorry for the delayed Hello. start. I actually had um, started the live. I was on here for 10 minutes all by myself and actually figured out that I didn't hit the public button when I was setting it up. So um, technical genius right here. Yeah. So anyway, here we are. There are nine of us and rapidly climbing. So again, I do apologize for the late start. We are here in the bag room and it is a glorious disaster, but um, I will look forward to catching up with you all through this chat. We'll give people just a few more minutes to try and uh, catch up with us now. So thank you for joining. Um, I see Sue and Cynthia and that's all I see on the chat so far. But definitely throw throw something out there so we can get acquainted while we wait for a minute. It has been a long time, Cynthia, definitely. Um, while we're waiting for everybody else, it would be really great if you think about what bag brand you want to start with. So we'll start there as uh, primarily Vera, Log, Jujube, or Kipling, mostly at the top three. But you can pick whichever you like. Hi, Emery. Um, welcome to the live. Yay. Uh, hi, Debbie. Um, yeah, so we'll pick the, the bag brand first, and then we'll pick a type of bag. Like, should it be a tote, a backpack, a crossbody, a shoulder bag, a convertible bag? So many options. Should be big or small or whatever. And then we're going to pick the accessories to put in it. And what we'll do is I have my handy dandy factory style travel bin in Peacock Garden. And I will put everything into that bag. And then later today, I will put together a video putting the actual bag together and how that will work out. I would like to do it live here now, but there's just not really space to do it in here. And my table out there is a, <laughs> is a big mess. There's all my projects all over it. And yesterday's haul still laying on the table. Um, yeah, that doesn't mean we can't use those bags. So if you want the tartan plaid Glenna or the on the go in Java Navy camo, those bags are available as choices. They're just sitting on the table right now um, and the accessories as well. So this is the bag that I am still in. It is my lug Dory from the holiday box and it has my charms. It has my Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. I do have it set up crossbody or just handles. And inside, I don't have a lot, um, but in the two side pockets, this side I have some glasses, the other side's where I put my phone. I have my Lug Splits XL, I have my grab and go <laughs> zip ID and lanyard and some basic stuff. And I have two small pouches from Vera Bradley. Hi Kelly. Kelly's here, she wants to help, come in. I don't know, you can't even see her. There we go. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, she's she doesn't like the back room so much. I don't know why. Um, I don't spend a lot of time just sitting in here. I'm usually working, and that makes her a little unsettled. I think she thinks I'm packing to go somewhere. Okay, but enough about that. Hi, Mary Beth. Welcome. I've got a few of you commenting. That is great. Um, it is now 18 after. <laughs> oh, very timely start. I was here on time. I was here five minutes early. Sorry, sorry. Um, I'm much smarter now than I was when I started this today. <laughs> Clearly, I need to do these more often, right? Um, okay, so for those of you that are here, what are your votes for which brand? Should we go with Vera, Lug, Jujube, or Other? Any votes? I got one for Vera. Welcome to everybody else who signed in. A Vera utility tote. I do have that. I have just one. I have that in a Java Navy camo. Juju B. Is there, uh, okay, so we've got two for Vera, three for Vera, one for Juju B. Lots of Vera. I could see where we're going here. Vera, 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 Vera. Okay, excellent. So it looks like it is Vera, um, but Maria, don't give up on the GGB. We will do this again sometime and we certainly can do that. Or if you let me know which bag it is that you're specifically wanting to see, I can do that as my next 
what's in my bag anyways. But it does look like Vera is the winner. So now that we've picked the brand, which is <laughs> predominantly um, the brand, uh, what type of bag would you like to see? Uh, large tote, small tote, backpack purse, um, a convertible bag, a shoulder bag, a crossbody bag, or a small, small bag? Lots of options. We may have to go to the closet once we decide which type of bag, depending on what you pick. So far, just Vera and the utility tote. Any other votes or requests? Okay, while you're thinking, I'm gonna grab my utility tote and in case anything comes up, we can continue to discuss. But right now, that's the only specific vote that we have so far. Okay, let me grab that. Where, oh where? Ah. Right here in front of my face. Okay, so this is the Vera Utility Tote that I have. And Debbie, it looks like you're the only one that's made this a specific request. So far, this is what we're going to go with. Um, okay, so the Utility Tote, we'll do a quick look at it, and then we'll start picking accessories for it. Um, that does mean that probably the accessories on the table will come into play. Um, so I will grab those in a moment. But the utility tote is a large tote. It's a great everything all the time bag for sure. It has lots of organization. It is um, quilted and padded on the handles. The bag itself is padded but not quilted. And it is recycled cotton, of course. It has a slip pocket on the front. It has a snap pocket on the front. It has a zipper pocket behind all that. Obviously I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Um, inside there, we have two big slips, so good organizational pocket with lots of room in there. And on the back, we have a big magnetic pocket, big slip with a magnetic closure, cargo pockets on both sides. It is a crossbody shoulder bag, so we do have that option as well. Inside, wow, scent strip. Still have to take the tag off. We've got a privacy pocket and interestingly, no slips inside. So we definitely will need pouches for this one. I've got a vote. Love Java Navy camo. Thank you, me too. And also the small tote. Um, I don't think this qualifies as a small tote, but that is a second vote. So we have two options so far, both of them tote options. Um, small tote, I have several options there. Let me take my camera and we'll look at some of them real quick and see what we come up with. So, pardon the motion. Let me turn this around. Okay, so small totes. I have the large Glenna from the factory style. Those aren't really small, but I have Midtown options. I've got, well, that's Valentine's Day. Let me move these out of the way. So many things, so little room. So I have small Vera's in a lot of different patterns. I have Mandy, I've got denim, I've got Laura's, that's an old style tote. Lots of small Vera's and villagers, more small Vera's, a lot of different patterns here to pick from. The stack next to it, that's large totes. So it's kind of, we're looking right here for small totes. If any of those styles or colors grabs you. Okay, so let me turn this back around and we'll see where we're at. Um, right now, I'm looking at the comments. We have one vote for Vera Utility, one vote for Small Tote, and uh, so Sue loves Java Navy Camo. So that's where we're at. And I'll wait just a few moments to see if there's any other inputs to that. 
let's see. Looks like we lost a few people. Oh no. Okay. So right now, let's start looking at accessories. I have a lot of options here in the room. So let me turn this back around and we'll go to the accessories walls here. Java Navy camo. So I'm thinking possibly some of the blacks here. There are a lot of patterned choices here. A lot of black and whites. Over on this side, we have some navy options. So I'm going to grab these out. Yeah, we'll just grab them all. So I've got all of these navy options. We'll take a look at those. And what else? What else? I think that's mostly... What's this one? Oh. That's a big navy cosmetic. Probably don't need one that big, but okay. So let me hook this camera back up, flip it around again. Hello! Okay, so let's tilt that down. Here's some accessories to pick from. We've got another about utility toad, Java Camo Vera. Okay, so I think we're in sync with the Vera. We've got a small essentials case from Stephanie Dawn. I actually have two of those. We have a clamshell in the velvet from Vera. I love this little pouch. It opens really wide. You can really get into it. Um, yeah, it's just plain navy, but I think it goes great. I have two of those as well because I love them so much. I have a factory style cosmetic and I have a performance twill navy cosmetic and um that's it for the plain navy accessories i guess huh let's see here yeah so i have some java navy camo out on the table so we can go let me go grab those you all can take a quick look around the bag room in case you see anything you really want to dive into i'll be right back Okay, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, Kelly! <laughs> Y'all, I just fell right off my stool. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we got. My room is organized. Thank you, Mary Beth. It is organized chaos. It's uh, always a work in progress but there's a lot of stuff crammed in here, um, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Uh, uh, the stool's only like two feet tall and I just, I'm plenty well padded. That was hilarious though, so, so embarrassing, but <laughs> welcome to live, yay. Okay, um, so I have the Zip Around Essential Oils case. I don't need, I don't really have essential oils, but I use these as organizers in my bags. I have the RFID wristlet, and that is a good option. Oh, thank you. Oh, I totally didn't hurt myself. That was just uh, ridiculousness, but you were here to watch it for yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's okay. This is my life, it just happens. I have a large cosmetic, which is a little big for an everyday thing, but yeah, we could use that. And then I have the RFID cell phone wristlet, which is an item I actually haven't tried yet, but yeah, so we have that one. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, still laughing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> you never know what happens. That is the truth. The Dory XL, that's our first lug vote. Welcome, um, I will, table that since Vera has been the predominant vote for today. Um, 
But don't give up. We have one vote for Jujube and one vote for Lug. So I will follow up with those two on later ones. Um, but what, uh, what accessories? Just in time for the stunt. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, I find ya! I not hurt at all. You know, like, seriously, I don't know if you can see this, but this is, it's an open floor. I put a blank down for Kelly to help make her comfortable, but this is a little stool. And I, I just kind of flew in, and it's a tripod stool, so I just uh, leaned just right, and the whole thing went over. Yeah, that was silly. Um, Kelly's very, very helpful, so that was a little trip-me-up move, too, but... Yeah, so here we are in the bag room. Lots of choices. Any accessory votes so far? The clamshell. I'm with you on that, definitely. So far, this is our item. Woohoo, just made it. Welcome. Yeah, we got a late start. Again, I'm really sorry about that. I uh, am not a technical genius, and this is only my second live. So I... The, and, and YouTube changes things since the last one, so I didn't realize you had to hit the public button <laughs> before you go live. So I this is my third restart before we got everybody in. So yay for those of you that can make it. Thank you for coming. Um, we do have two clamshell votes. I don't know if you'd like one or two in the mix, because I do have two of them. Um, I've never used them both in the same bag, but I could. Right now, the vote has been Vera, and so far, the utility tote is what we're going with. Clamshell, clamshell, three votes for clamshell, one singular, okay. Got one. And I'm gonna put that into our yes bag. Boop, here it goes, okay. The tote in the yes bag. And what else should I put in there? I need a wallet. Love that tote. Thank you. I This will be the first time using it. This one you're talking about or the big carrier thing? A wallet. Yes, I need a wallet. So should I go matchy matchy and use this little wristlet wallet with the grab and go phone thing? Or I do have Vera wallets in Navy. And I have lug wallets in navy. The one you have there. This one. Okay, the smartphone wristlet. I like the matchy-matchy and or coordinating. So we'll put that in the yes pile. Maybe a cosmetic for extras. Yes, for sure, Cynthia, I agree. Um, the options I have in navy, uh, Java, no Java navy camo, I have the small essentials case and I have the wristlet which I can use as like a tech pouch or a miscellaneous pouch. It, things don't have to be what they're designed for, not in my world. So we have those options. I've got some yeses, ladies. I'm not sure which yes that is for because there's a little bit of a delay. So this wristlet, is this the one, Betty, or the other one we were using as a wallet? Oh, you might get the tote and the wristlet. Yeah, I like them. And they were on sale just recently for 50% off. Plus, I had a 15% military, or you could use 10% ambassador code Warthog Princess in your hand. This one. Okay, Betty. So we'll put this in the yes pile as a pouch. So we got that. The phone wallet. Got it, Debbie. That is in the pile. Okay, so far we're all matchy-matchy except the clamshell, which is fine. Thank you for using my code. Yay! I do get random notifications for somebody has used my code, but it doesn't tell me who did or where they are or anything. But I do thank you all for that, and I am really happy if you're getting your best deal for you. If you ever have questions about what your best sale options are, I'm happy to answer those questions as well. I think most of you are pretty smart on how to get a good deal on Vera, but, but still, little tricks of the trade that you learn over the years. Clearly, I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> All right. The code didn't work. Emery, 
Um, where were you trying to use it? Was it on online or in a store? Utility tote, smartphone reset, Navy Cosmetic. Okay, Navy Cosmetic. Do you mean one of these cosmetics or the clamshell one, which we, uh, we also have already? So these are the three Navy Cosmetics. The essential oil case is interesting. Thank you. Um, I, I use this as a miscellaneous thing, not for essential oils, but it's a good size. And since it's a large bag, this could be a viable option as well. Yep. Anne-Marie, I'm not sure. Um, the code is Warthog Princess, one word. If you're trying to type it in, try all uppercase. Um, or give me a shout on Warthog Princess one at AOL.com and we can discuss it further in great detail and, and help you figure that out. I'm sorry that is not working. I, I know it does work, but not all of the shops understand how to use the code, so that could be part of the problem. Okay. Clamshell. Yep, we have the clamshell. It's in the box. Let's see. So did you guys want the essential oil case in or out? No problem, Anne-Marie, that's okay. Um, everybody here is interested in the bags, so it's helpful perhaps to everyone. I just don't know which way you were trying to use it. Like it won't work on Disney or Star Wars or Harry Potter stuff or any of the specialty collaborations, but it will work in addition to sale items. So it's an extra 10% off, which is nice. Um, okay, uh, oil case, it's multi-purpose. Yes, it is, Sue, and I will add it to the pile. At the end, we'll kind of run through what we've got. Uh, let's see, we have these items. Put it in, the case is in, all right. Try to because last outlets. Okay, the online outlet sale, the code will not work. Sorry, ladies. Um, Vera has said that their online outlet sale is already significantly discounted and therefore they do not add military, they do not add ambassador codes, they don't add any extra codes with that. So I do apologize if that's where you're trying to use it, that will not work. The outlet store, though, it will work. And um, obviously that's in person because they don't have an online except the online outlet sale. Um, so factory stores, it should work. And if it's not working, it's their end issue. Um, they're still training some of their employees on it, but it does work. On a roll case and a zip round mini tech case. I have those items. But, Debbie, I don't have them in a matching or coordinating pattern. Do you want me to grab them? Um, we will look at some other items in the small accessories in the closet. Uh, on a roll case. I do have, let me see. I don't know if you'll be able to see me over here, but I do have on a roll cases. They just don't match. Uh... I have one in Performance Twill in Mayfair Bloom. So if you're not familiar with the honor roll case, this one, this version has snaps instead of just magnets, but you have your little honor roll. Um, this one obviously doesn't really match the pattern, but it doesn't horribly go against it. So it could be mixy matchy. Utility tote, smartphone wristlet clamshell and a plain navy pouch. Okay, I'll grab this navy pouch if that's acceptable because it's the most slim profile and I like the loop so I can grab it out. Does that work for you? Only if others want to see them just wondering what to use. Oh, well I can still answer that question. Um, I use them for miscellaneous pouches in my larger bags. I sometimes use them to store things like when I'm traveling, I could put my toothbrush and stuff in here. So toothbrush, toothpaste, dental, etc. It's not plasticized inside, but it is wipeable, kind of a nylon, at least this version. Um, yeah, and it's a perfect size. And it kind of has a little bit of structure to it. 
And then up here you can put like dental floss toothpicks or you can put other thin items here. You can use this as a nice little makeup case for traveling. You've got a lot of options and they hold more than you would think, but I, do, I don't have too many of them, but I do have a few. Obviously I haven't used this one because it still has tags on it. And I don't have it in Java Navy Campbell. I don't think they made it in this pattern. Okay, coin pouches. Yes, we will go to the closet in a, just a couple more moments. We'll go and look at some of the small accessories like bag charms and small things. Do I use coins? I absolutely use coins. And I usually always have some kind of coin thing in my bag. Um, we can, by the way, I know we're kind of all about Vera right now for the bag choice, but we can mix items. So we can brand smash all you guys want. I have lots and lots of lug items and I have lots of jujube small items as well, like coin purses, pouches, things like that. Um, right now we're very coordinated, matchy matchy for our picks, um, which of course I love, but I also sometimes just go straight up pattern palooza and throw random things in. So don't be afraid, whatever it is you want to see, it's your pick. Navy Metro XL. Ooh, let me see. All right. I do have some Metro XLs on order, but here's the ones that I have so far. I have black. I do have Paws Navy, not a plain Navy. I have Butterfly Gray. I have Ocean Blue, Violet, and Aloha Navy. An Aloha Navy in case that might be the closest match, but it's not a match at all, but but it kind of could crisscrossy. Um, so any of those that you wanted to add? The roll case, the roll case in Java Navy Camo. I, I don't have a roll case in Java Navy Camo, sorry. Maybe black. Okay. Black would go. I will add the black Metro XL to our yes pile. I love these. It's a great size. Um, great little tech case, coin purse, grab and go wallet, whatever. They have those little clips on them if you're not familiar and a key ring. So you can make it um, very multifunctional. Okay, Cynthia, we got the black in there. Um, let me see. Let me hang this back up over here let's see while we're talking about brand smashing here are some other items so this is lug and i'm gonna grab brace yourself so i'm gonna move the phone again okay so this is my uh, miscellaneous lug wallets and stuff so in here I do have a lot of splits XLs because those are my favorite. I have two Tandus. And then I have a ton of these little mini choo-choos. I can take the pill case out and use them for other things. But there's a navy one if anyone's interested in throwing that into the pile. Obviously, I have a lot of other colors of them. Then I have other wallets, um, some different versions. These are all lug items. Got minuets. Oh, this one, it doesn't really match, but camo, camo. <laughs> That's the leopard navy, I think. But yeah, so lots of lots of items in there. Let me flip it back to me so I can see your comments. Ah, okay. Putting it back up. Are you guys doing okay with the motion of the back and forth so you can see things? I hope so. Okay. Catching up with comments. Let's see. Navy Choo Choo. Okay. The Navy Mini Choo Choo is in the pile. What else? The Mini Choo Choo. Lots of votes for that. It is in. Thanks. All right. Uh, what else can I show you in here? We have lots and lots of zip IDs. And in here, ones that might match. We have a Stephanie Dawn one in this pattern. And this, 
next to the Java Navy camo. Again, it's not a uh, match match, but I think it kind of coordinates. So we've got that as an option or other zip IDs. Lots to pick from. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh, I have a Java Navy camo zip ID. Ah. Let's see. Oh, apparently I'm a dodo head and I have two Java Navy camo zip IDs. Oops. Okay, they're different. Um, if there's any other patterns or colors you want me to pull out, I can. Ah, you just ordered it. Excellent. Um, <laughs> so did I. I'm not realizing I already had it. And the sad thing is I actually flicked through here and looked and I just missed it in the pile. It's not too hard to do, honestly, but what other ones? Yeah, I think that's really the best options for coordinating. Okay. What else? Java Navy. Okay, so we have a vote for the zip ID. There are two to choose from. Do you want the, the tan one or the one with more blue in it. I totally use them as charms as well. And I use one as a grab and go for my, uh, like going to pickleball or going to the dog park as well. They make great bag charms. I totally agree with that. Blue, more blue. Okay, more blue it is. That's this one. It's going in the yes pile. Yay. Okay, let me put this one away. All right. Let's see, what else? Depends on how you, that is true, because if I'm using it like as a business card holder, I'll put on the inside. <laughs> Don't worry about spelling, it's okay. I fell off my chair, you can misspell a word. We're all good, right? Okay. Lots of options. Are you guys ready to go to the closet for small accessory options? Oh, before we go there, we need to pick from this section, we need to pick some sunglass holder. So either eyeglass or sunglass. I have reader's cases, clamshells, magnetic. I've got soft-sided ones. None of them are Java Navy camo, I don't think. But we'll take a look at those. So we need an eyeglass case as well. And Betty, is that a yes for the small accessories closet vote? Any plain navy. The plain navy stuff I have is the Stephanie Dawn Small Essentials, the clamshell, which we already have in there, the Performance Twill Cosmetic, and the old style large cosmetic. And that's it for the plain navy. Uh, for the larger accessories. I do have some small stuff. Okay, clamshell is in there. Eyeglass, yeah, eyeglass. So let's go look at the eyeglass stuff right here. We've got this style with the squeeze open top. Let's see if I can do it this way. So we have this style in a lot of different patterns. I don't really think they match very well. Okay guys, I'm gonna turn this around cause I can't see. Okay, so we have this style. I'm trying to put it back with one hand. Okay, we have a few of the soft sided triangle shaped ones. None of them are navy colored. We've got these magnetic ones, mix of factory style and old retail style. We have the large clamshells, several versions of them. And we have a lot of the uh, reader's cases because they are able to hold my sunglasses, but they're slimmer profile. And then I also do have a bunch of lug 
ones. The bobsleds, I think they are. So I've got, hmm, I don't have any in navy. Let's see. Yeah, they're all patterned, really, except for the heather gray. So let's see. I'm trying to look in here. I have blue and black. <laughs> Actually, yeah, okay. So let me go back to your comments. There's my craft part of the bag room. Sorry. Okay, turning around. Hello again. I'm going to set it low this time. And let's see what the comments. Plain navy clamshell eyeglasses. Eyeglass navy. I don't have a plain navy. Pinch top first one. Okay, that's a vote. I will take it. This is factory style, sure enough. And just for reference, it will be a non-mixy, non-matchy mixy. Black bobsled would match the Metro. I agree, Sue, I definitely agree. I'll still add this to the pile. Let me see. I have a black metro. I mean, a bobsled. Um, I don't have a black one, but I have the, oops, I have the holiday lights one. Whimsy black. Gray, gray. Yeah. Nope. No black, no navy. Any other colors in the first... Tote. Um, the first type is that what you're asking? The first type, do, do you mean the squeezy top type? Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll, I can pull those out. Yeah, you want to look at those colors? Type, yeah, okay. Back up on the holder here. Okay, let's see. To fall down. All right. We do have. Ooh. I'm glad you asked because I do have some that might match better than this one. So this is sure enough. I have a Stephanie Dawn. It's not a pinch top, but it is padded. And this one is that um, pattern that's similar. So it's not matchy matchy, but it does coordinate kind of nicely. Um, do you guys want to see all these colors? Is the Holiday Nights navy? Holiday Nights is black, actually. Can you see that? It's black. Okay. So here's all the other colors. I have just a few. <laughs> okay, so we have a couple different styles. We have the double eyeglass case in lilac tapestry. We've got Anchors Away. Peacock Garden, uh, Haymarket Paisley, uh, Parisian Paisley. That's actually, a, um, some of these are crossover patterns from retail then to outlet. Uh, Chandelier Noir. Um, I'm totally spacing on the name of this one. Oh, wait, it's right here. Blue Island Medallion. Uh, Batic Leaves, another Stephanie Dawn, that's the mosaic. Ooh, trying to stack these up. Um, then I have a double eyeglass case, the newer style in Moonlight Garden. I have, I think this is Midnight Wildflowers, I think, from the factory style. And then another Stephanie Dawn blue version. Let's see. Chandelier Noir. And Stephanie Dawn, okay. Other than sure enough, yep. Okay. Hi, Kimberly, welcome. Um, I We have chosen the Vera Utility Tote in Java Navy Camo. Okay, so we have a vote for Chandelier Noir. So I will put that in the yes pile. And the Stephanie Dawn one we'll put in the yes pile for now. And then let's see. I think that's it for these. So if you're the one 
who voted for this one, have you changed your mind for those other two options or do you still want this in the mix? Okay, so that's a transfer, gotcha. Um, and did anyone still want the holiday lights in there or no? Okay, I got a no. So we will put that one away as well. Oops. Okay. Okay, okay. The bag room. <laughs> no to bobsled. Got it. Thank you, ladies. That is out. All right. Let's go to the hall closet and look at some of the smaller accessories to go in our yes pile. All right, I'm gonna take you all with me. Just the phone. Okay, going down the hall. Do, 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 do. To the bag closet. So here are some of the other options. We've got all-in-one wristlets. We've got smaller bags, other Vera stuff. And Stephanie Dawn, another. But here's our accessories. Um, I unfortunately have to go back to the bag room because I can't see the comments on my phone. But what I'll do, I'll give you a quick look here and we'll grab some of this to take back with us. So we have some bag charms. We have AirPod cases. None of them really match. We've got other, like this one might match a little bit, the suede. We've got, these other shapes and sizes, we got a doggy. We've got other doggy, so we got two doggies. We've got metallic charms. We've got designer, like just decorative, not functional charms. Other brand charms. Lip chapstick holders, key fobs, keychains, long loop keychains. We do have a black and a navy option here if we want those. We've got hand sanitizer holders. Yeah, and then we've got these two, which I will grab. These are um, like coin purses and the like. Um, I should have set these out already. Oh boy, we have lots of options. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this whole thing. We'll go back to the bag room so I could see your comments so far. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Okay, let's see where we're at. All right, let me turn this around again. Thanks for hanging with me, you guys are great. Okay, let's see, a lug coin pouch. I do have those, we'll get those out. What else? Two to do. You know, Chandelier Noir, Chandelier Noir, no bobsled, love coin pouch. Hi, Rachel, welcome. Okay, so let me get the other coin pouch um, thing. So we'll turn this around. We have some of those options. And let's go get the other one. Oops, I dropped one on the ground. Oh, that's a black leather pouch it doesn't really go in that section okay but we have the other coin purse options these are heavy oh my goodness they're packed okay okay now here's <laughs> some options we have a lot of GGB coin purses we have some of the eco ones. This one actually might be a good 
choice because it matches the tans in the pattern. Kind of brings out those. We got, well, there's another Jujube one. That one even, kind of, sort of. We've got card cases. We've got other coin purses, card cases. Those are GGB. There's some Vera stuff, small wallets, coin purses from Vera. I don't see any that really would match or coordinate very well. Except, yeah. Oh, guess what? I have a Java Navy Camo coin purse. Haha, -ha. that might work. And I have a, that's navy colored leather one that's, um, I don't even know what brand it is, but I've had it since I was a kid. It used to be my mom's way back. Okay, let's see. Cute little piggy. Oh, thank you. I have three. I have the, they're like silicone. I love these for coins. I have a piggy, I have a polar bear, and I have a Tokidoki purple one. So those are fun. If you want that in the yes pile, just let me know. I'll put it in the yes pile and we'll go through it at the end. Vera Bradley tissue case. Um, yeah, I don't have that actually. Sorry. Um, am I in Cincy? No, ma'am. I am in Tucson. Tucson. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I think I missed that. Y'all were talking about the game, weren't you? Java Navy. Add one for a pop. Um, Java Blue. Java Blue. I do not. I do not. That is really sad. I know that's an older Vera pattern, and I really like it. I, I kind of thought I might have something in the other wallets card holder the brown puppy would look cute okay the light brown or the dark brown and we have a vote for the piggy so I'll put piggy in the yes pile okay a card holder which kind of card holder we have patterned we have black and gray midtown we have plain black, we have a denim, we have brown leather, um, we have jujube ones, and we have, like this one is a jujube. We also have Harry Potter one. Java Navy Camo and Piggy. Okay, I have those in the pile. And Kimberly, did you want the light brown or dark brown puppy? Oh, the puppy. Okay, let's go back to the puppy and pick which one. Do, do, do. Back to the closet. We have dark brown puppy and light brown puppy. Okay. I don't think I need both, but I like them both. <laughs> All right, so Java Navy Camo, looking at the puppies. Light brown or dark brown? Oh, oh. <laughs> Critters are fun. Dark brown. Okay, any other votes for light versus dark? Dark, dark. Okay, two votes for dark, three votes for dark. I think that sums it up. So we will put the dark one 
in the yes pile. Okay, I think we have a pretty comprehensive look at all of our items. Any last minute requests before we go through the summary? Hi, Amber, welcome. You haven't missed all of it, just the running around grabbing things part. We're gonna do the summary in a moment. Glad you can make it though, thanks for coming. All right. I, all right, dark it is. Okay, so this is our yes pile. And what I will do is run through them really quickly. Not speedily, but we'll run through them and then we will close out this live and then I'll go ahead and do another what's in my bag using these items to transition like we normally do. And it'll be kind of fun to put it all together. All right, so in the yes pile, we have the <laughs> bag I'm currently using still. We have the bag we're moving into, the Java Navy Camo Utility Tote from Vera Bradley. We have a medium cosmetic just in plain navy this is the old factory style with the loop on it we have the RFID wristlet in java navy camo the essential oils case zip round essential oils in java navy camo we have the RFID cell phone wristlet java navy camo that is the wallet choice we have the coin purse, Java Navy Camo. Probably that'll end up being my tech case, we'll see. We have a Zip ID, Java Navy Camo. Very matchy matchy today. We have a clamshell in the Navy Velvet. Love that little thing. We have a Lug Mini Choo Choo in Navy. It is a lighter Navy, but it does still coordinate. We have a factory style bag charm from Vera and the doggy, the dark doggy. It is a um, perfect AirPod case, hand sanitizer, chapstick kind of stuff. We have Chandelier Noir eyeglass case, factory style. We have a Stephanie Dawn eyeglass case. And we have a Silicon Piggy coin purse. Doo -doo. We have a couple votes for the light brown puppy. Oh, three votes from the same person. Kimberly, you really like the light brown, huh? Lots of votes for the dark. Sorry, Kimberly, you're outvoted right now on the puppy. But I'll tell you what, I will put it anyways in the pile with everything and we can make a final decision on the move in day, which will be later today. The piggy, yeah, piggy. I love the critters. And these, by the way, um, I got the Tokidoki one from online, but the other two, I bought these from the Japanese dollar store in Phoenix. They are so much fun. I just, when they're full of coins, they just, I don't know, they have a, such a nice feel, but they're very, you know, squishable and fun. I do, I like them a lot. And because they're silicone, they're very wipeable, which is good. Okay, let's see. Piggy, piggy, the RFID, yes, Amber. I know we are totally on that. They are great in large bags, especially like this size. Okay, all right, ladies, I'm gonna put all this in the bin. Are there any final requests to things to add to the yes pile? By the way, my grab and go right now is the Vera Bradley Zip ID and Lanyard in the tan color. I know it doesn't show up well on there, but it's the Performance Twill. And <laughs> guess what? It kind of still goes as well, but that's my pickleball or dog park. Grab my keys and run out. Oh. 
let's see. Pen choice. Ah, thank you, Amber. That is excellent. Um, hmm. I will have to go and dig those out. There is a drawer. We can we can walk down there. My house is a disaster, but we can walk. Did we pick a lanyard? We did not, but we can. Um, let's see. Let's go over to the lanyards. <laughs> okay, so we'll switch this around again. Go over here to the back wall of here. We have just a few lanyards to pick from. Let's see what might match. These are the lighten up options. The patterned options. The microfiber options. The other denim. There's another lighten up. This is on the wrong pile. And the sparklies. Then we have the wide lanyards. And I do have right here, I have the Java Navy camo one in the wide lanyard. Oops. Let's pull this over. Okay. Switching. Ah, okay. So I have the Java Navy camo, if that's the one you guys would like. Ah, uh, I do have Navy. Do you think the solid Navy? Here, I'll grab them and we can choose side by side. Let's see. That's denim. Ah, I was wrong. I don't actually have Navy. Sorry, no navy. I was wrong. I don't have plain navy. And you're right, Sue. I do prefer thinner, but I don't have thinner. I just have the wide one. But when I'm around town, usually grabbing and running in and out, it's not on my neck long enough and it is winter. So thankfully, it's not as much of a factor for this time of year. So this would be okay if that's the one you guys want to go with for the lanyard. Java's your favorite. Thanks, Sylvia. That's one vote for Java. Okay. Java. Totally mismatched and bright on the lanyard so it stands out. I could do that. And I do have... I, mean, I have this one. It's not bright, but it does coordinate. I could go mismatched. Another vote for Java. Java. So I think Java wins. So I will put the Java in the yes pile. All right. And this will still be in the thing for now. I will be changing zip ideas tonight because there is a five o'clock game for the women's basketball at U of A and I bought season tickets. So I'll switch to my U of A one and I'll take that to the game. Okay, Java, Java, Java. All right. So I'm going to put these coin purses back in the carrier thing. They are too many to fit in this thing. <laughs> they are so full. Okay. Looks like Java, 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 Java. Java wins. So we have Java in the yes pile. Okay. Let's go pick a pen and a notebook. That's our last two items, really. Um, I think we're good on everything else. I'm looking at lug pouches, which we didn't really smash into, but there are options. Um, we've got peekaboos. We've got um, run runway envelopes, which are the clear ones like this. We have... Uh, I don't even know. This came with, I think, the tenor, maybe? I didn't realize I had a tenor, but there's a navy dot pouch. 
We've got, these are kind of big and I, they're only in Heather Gray, but we have the buoy. We have the tackles, which I love. Come out. We have the tackle in metallic pearl and black. That's a four pouch sets. Get in there. We have coops. I have a coop in navy. And I have it in the VL navy, I think. Yeah, so, no. I have the VL black. And I do have a navy coupe if you want to put that in the pile. <laughs> the metallic pearl tackles. Okay. I will put that in the pile. In the pile. And they kind of match, actually. I mean, kind of coordinate a little bit. Any votes for the coop or no coop? We, we have a lot of options, really. I also have a black coop regular. Okay, it looks like we're good in here. I think we're gonna call that good and we're gonna head to the den and see what pens might go with this. All right, um, I have to take my iPad with me. So we'll do it like this. Down the hall we go. Dun, 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 dun. All right. I know, close up on my face, sorry. <laughs> All right, my den is a disaster, y'all. So, uh, let me turn on the light. Let me turn it around. So in this drawer, we have all the pens. Lots of choices. We have some lug ones. Those are my nautical versions. We got the original lugs, which are a hodgepodge mix match. We have lug plastics we have other lug metallics lots of choices we've got gel pens from vera pencils more gel pens from vera more gel pens we've got lots of the push click pens and we also have a lot of the Vera twist pens. So, and then these are the, the plastic Vera click pens. Most of those are like purples. Okay, let's look at the comments. Let's see where we're at. Navy coupe, okay, I will go back and throw that in. The one you are currently using would match and stand out. Kimberly, are you talking about the zip ID and lanyard? Okay, another metallic. Hmm. Amber, do you mean uh, a what? Another metallic what? <laughs> okay, which pen? Hmm. I think that one, Blue Island Medallion, maybe. Frosted floral, no, that's too blue. The pineapples might kind of match. Got penguins. Hmm, so many choices. Let's see what we've got in the push ones. Oh, look at what I have. Java Navy Camo. I think that's a winner. Okay. I know you can't see. That's all blurred. Amber, they're all metallic pens. What do you mean? Like the style? Okay. 
Yay, we found a pen. Okay, I'm going to walk back down the hall. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> you can see the delay right there. It's my iPad. And we're back in the bag room, which is now a glorious disaster because I pulled everything out. All right. So one more time back up here. Yay, we made it. Okay, ladies, that was super fun. I hope you had as much fun as I did. It was a little bit all over the place, but maybe that was part of the charm. I don't know. <laughs> um, definitely kind of what I do sometimes, back and forth. What do I need? What do I want? What might go? And I just play this little game just like we just did. And we definitely have the perfect pen, I agree. So I'm glad we went and looked. And thank you for the reminder for all the tidbits that um, I was missing while we were talking. So that goes in the yes pile. And I think we're good. Did I miss anything else? <laughs> I think Tom Cruise has nothing to worry about, Jen, but thanks. <laughs> oh, thanks, Kimberly. At this moment, I feel kind of disorganized because everything's out. Thank you, Sue. I think it was a um, resounding success as well. And I look forward to sitting down and putting this all together. And I'll try and get that posted tonight before I go to bed. But at the latest, it'll be out tomorrow for sure. Thank you all so very much for coming. I, uh, woo -woo! I will do some more lives coming up. Um, maybe some different styles of things we've talked about in the past, but this year I just got so busy with travels and working on the farm and doing all that stuff out in Virginia. And then, yeah, so hopefully this year will be a little bit more settled and at home more so we can have some more fun with the live stuff. Cause I, I really enjoy interacting with you guys real time. And, uh, I love hearing your opinions and I value your friendships and I'm really, really glad you can make it today. If you're watching this on the replay, thanks for watching and hopefully you can join us next time. Okay, ladies. Bye for now. Happy new year. Take care.